I've been asked out to a residence with rentals about a high electricity bill. It's winter time and it's cold. They have a gas furnace for the building, but one of the rentals is leaving an electric heater on all the time. And what you're seeing in my thermal imaging camera is the heat being generated. Now I'll take this panel off and I'll put an amp probe on that circuit breaker. But what I found here, they're drawing over a thousand, let's see, the instant, this is uh, overall time. Let's go right there, 1,000 watts. Now this building, all the lights in this building are LED. There's no reason for this to be drawing 1,000 watts all the time. But the person who room this is on is the person who's leaving their electric heater on in their room and the tenants up on that floor share the electricity bill. So they got one person who has an electric heater on all the time causing everybody else to pay an extra $200 a month added to their electricity bill because of one person. I've been called out to three different residents for the same problem. And first I do this. Sometimes I could come up to the pipes and I've actually had the EMT have one or two lines in them that are drawing too much power and you'll see one glowing red pipe and that'll lead me right to the wires that are coming right to the circuit breaker that people have that much power can only be in an inductive load by a electric heater in the room unless somebody's heating their room with a 1500 watt hairdryer. All right, that's it for this video. Another use for thermal cameras. You want to know that tenant that is leaving an electric heater on, but you don't want to pull down the panel. This is what you do. There it is right there. That hot spot. So I'll zero it in and let the landlord know and the tenants know.